So I'm going to bring in Ruchika here as the representative of one of the biggest commodity players to understand from her how these trends work in the aspect of her business. Ruchika, according to reports, 80% of customers say that they are more likely to do business with a company if it offers customized experiences. That's a point that Chandar has reaffirmed as well as the, as the key trend to watch out for. So how is your organization ensuring this for industrial the commodity space where the products are largely standardized and price driven? Sure. So, uh, look, what we feel is that the B2B customers today, they just don't need a product. They just don't need a commodity. What they are coming to us for are solutions. So when they are actually looking for solutions, that gives us a lot of scope and opportunity to customize the experiences and create differentiation for them. So, you know, basically we believe that in order to get there, what we need to do is have a very, very thorough understanding of the customer organization right from what are their values, what are their customer, what are, what is the customer's customer, uh, you know, uh, evolving needs. At the same time, their entire vision, their philosophy, their growth plans, their ESG values and so on and so forth. So once we have a deep understanding of, you know, how the entire ecosystem is changing, look at the way mobility is changing now, everything is moving to EV, the way the uh, energy space and energy storage space, uh, space is changing, metal is the backbone of all of these. So unless we keep ourselves updated and you know, pace up with the changing dynamics, uh, it, it's going to get very difficult to customize the solutions. Uh, so what we are doing is we are at, a fo at the forefront of uh, product innovation. We are trying to adapt even commodities, you know, into customized packaging, customized composition, customized, uh, say, size, so that it becomes more and more, uh, you know, um, convenient for the customer. And at the same time, it serves their needs with the changing uh, dynamics as well. At the same time, I think one of the biggest differentiations uh, we bring on the table uh, is application engineering. So uh, we have an, you know, a pool of internal experts as well as tie-ups with global organizations like the International Zinc Association, thereby giving access to cut, access of cutting-edge technology to our customers, which not only helps them you know, understand what the world market needs, because most of our customers are also exporting to these global markets, where the likes of ISA are already present in full, full strength. Right. So they just don't need the, uh, you know, uh, I mean, they just don't uh, learn the new products, but at the same time, how to use our products effectively to bring them mm. more productivity, to reduce their cost of operation and bring more value and use for the commodities they are using. And then, of course, you know, the, uh, the regular uh, um, services like GIT deliveries or doing working capital management for the customers, giving them flexibility with respect to pricing terms and payment terms, a lot of pricing flexibility. Some of our customers have to participate in, uh, you know, long-term tenders with PGCIL in the cable and customer uh, conductor segment where they need to quote a fixed price for a tenure of the contract. So that is how, you know, we are, uh, we are trying to customize the experience for the B2B customers.